BNB, we start with one hour chart. Okay, if we refer to our uh, analysis in my last video, I mentioned when the price was here, we mentioned we, we can expect the price to drop. That's why I mentioned if you want to look for buy, the best thing is price to drop before we look for buy. And I mentioned if the price drop, if there is a breakout of this level, we need to look at the entire structure differently. But also I mentioned if the price break, drop, break the previous low tag and reverse without breaking the next level, any reversal with the sharp move flag, we can look for buy. Okay, and as we were, what we were expected, the price, because we mentioned we're looking for this option, the price drop, tag, reverse. Okay, as we can see exactly what we were expected to happen, the price drop, tag, break, I mean, the tag the previous low and reverse. The only way to look for trade was this one based on lower time frame. Okay, that's mean the only way was to trade within this correction to look for after the price break the previous low. Any reversal we mentioned, we can look for buy. This is the only way to trade. And this is, the, this is the only way we could trade based on 15 minutes. Okay. By the way, anyone is in this trade right now, they should at least move their sub loss to break even. And no one to see what's the next and how we can look for trade because based on one hour chart, also we can see here price drop reverse this is a correction we could look for buy either they trade based on one hour chart or 15 minutes but what we wanted i mentioned sharp move like and exactly this is what we have sharp move like okay that's why i was keep pointing the breakout of the price should tag and reverse shouldn't continue okay because we mentioned the price break this low we cannot we have to look at the structure entire structure differently but by the way no what's the next the first thing, traders should move their stop loss to break even. Now, if you want to look for next trade, we need to get wait for the flag or small correction. Rather than that, even there is a continuation for me, I won't jump into the trade because this is where I should look for trade. Okay, because that's why we mentioned we want the price to drop. Okay, now what's the next and how we can look for chart? In this case, we start with the higher time frame. Because based on daily chart, we mentioned we're looking at this correction. We want to see how complex can be this correction because we put this correction relative to this. And what we we mentioned what we're interested for the continuation, but we need to know may this one tend to more complex correction. Okay, that's why we, I mentioned any buy, we need to know how to manage it if the price is not moving. Okay, and even uh, we, are not, we mentioned that how we can look at this, whether this is the only correction and this is, this is going to drop or this is the start of the up move. By the way, right now I don't need to go into the details. What we have we are looking for, we have been looking for this move in relative to this, and what we expect this one to continue and break the top. Then from there, if there is a continuation, good. If not, then we look at the entire structure differently. Okay. By the way, we want to see whether we can get any trade setup and the price price can continue and tag the top or not. All right. But based on forward chart, we don't have any trade setup. And if we move to one hour chart, no, we don't have any trades at top. The only way was to trade within the correction. No, the thing is, the only, if there is a continuation, if we get any flag or small correction, maybe we can look for next trade. And with the breakout, I mean, if the price tag the, the, this top, the top, I mean, is around 277, then from there, we start to manage the trade. Okay, because we need to know whether the price can break the, this top 277 or not. Because if the price break, we can look for continuation. But if the price break the top and we see it's not moving, then we need to look at the structure differently. Maybe we put in this one relative to this for one more drop. But by the way, we don't need to explain about that right now. The only thing is we want to see whether there is a continuation and break can tag 277 or not. Okay. Anyway, we don't have any trade setup. We just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.